Yo, what's up coders? Lucinda here. Today we're tackling a string problem where Alice gets a little too trigger happy with her keyboard. Basically, we gotta find out how many different strings asterisk could asterisk have resulted in the final output. Let's pseudocode this real quick. Initialize a count to one cause the original string is always a possibility. Then loop through the string and like, check for identical adjacent characters. I right, let's get this bread. We need to implement the core logic. Remember that pseudocode from before? We're looping through the word except for the last character since we're comparing each character to the asterisk next asterisk one. If word i is the same as word i plus one, it means Alice might asterisk have held down the key, so we increase possible count. This is where the magic happens. Keep in mind there might be some edge cases that cause issues. Debugging is key, my dudes. Okay fam, let's polish this code and make it shine. We already have the main logic working, but we need to add comments for readability, especially for future you. Notice the added comment block explaining what the function does and the parameters. I've added comments to remind us about what's going on in the code. Edge cases? Well, an empty string isn't valid based on constraints, and the code handles single-character strings correctly. Optimization. 